Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Cause I gotta like that. I was in my own. Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a tag. I was kindly tagged by Roxanne here on YouTube. Thank you so much for tagging me. I honestly feel very honored. Thank you so much. If you are not following Roxanne, what are you even doing? She's incredible. She's authentic. She's amazing. She's beautiful. I will leave a channel in my description box below. Make sure you give her a subscribe and let her know that Abby sent you. So Roxanne has about 10 questions in this tag. I'm going to answer the questions and let's start with the first one. She wanted us all to wear our favorite color. My favorite color is red. I love red a lot i just find that it just brings out my personality i do like white and black but red is like the ultimate color for me i wear red lipsticks almost on a daily basis because again it just makes me feel like very alive very bright um the next question is where are you from i am from nigeria i am yoruba and i live here in the uk i have been in this country for a very long time but i was born in nigeria and the next question is name one fragrance that your partner loves on you my husband loves a lot of perfumes on me but the ones that he would actually ask for to wear on a date night are greenwich village this is a fruity it's just a fruity sweet scent quite musky as well kind of reminds me of baccarat rouge 540 but a fruitier version he also loves bachiami by bulgari this is such a beautiful white floral with gardenia and vanilla he loves this perfume on me and i love it on myself also and there's one more that he really loves which is not really going to come as a surprise to you guys delina exclusive by performance de mali he loves this perfume on me as well so those are the three perfumes that i constantly will get compliments from him when i wear it the next question is what is your favorite designer house at the moment i think my favorite designer house has always been dior um for as long as i can remember i want to say like one of my first perfumes ever was by dior hypnotic poison and i've been wearing that perfume for a very very long time i still wear it to this day so dior are really doing it for me i also love lancome perfumes but if i had to kind of pick between the two it will always be dior oh. what is your favorite niche house at the moment my favorite niche house at the moment is pen halligans because i i love all their perfumes i find their perfumes to be classy i think that's why I really resonate with that house. I find their perfume, majority of their perfumes work well for me. It gets me compliments. I like how I feel when I wear their perfumes. I enjoy their bottles. I just love the house of Penhaligons as a whole. I also like Performs de Mali. I think their perfumes are just A1, super beautiful, feminine perfumes. They are just great scents. So I would say Penhaligons and then Performs de Mali next question is what is the retail value of your current wish list i want to say right now maybe less than two thousand pounds i only have about four perfumes that i want to get right now um actually not right now i'm not in any hurry to get these perfumes but altogether it would equate to around two thousand pounds so the next question is, what fragrance house would you like to receive PR from? The obvious choice is Pen Halligans. Um, but I would have to say, this is really tough. Let me just look at my collection. Okay, so <laughs> I've had a little scan at my collection and I will have to say Pen Halligans and Performance de Mali. I find that I want to be the first to smell it. Like I, at this point, I don't need PR. I can buy perfumes that I like 
of course if the brand is paying me to talk about their perfumes and i like their perfumes i will speak about it but i think the reason i would love pr from these brands is to be the first to smell it i want to be the first to smell it i want to be the first to talk about it i because i'm really curious so i think yeah pen halligans and performs the mali and i'm just gonna cheat a little bit and add dior because the when they brought out the extract versions of some of my favorite perfumes from their line i would have loved to receive it in pr i would have loved it because i know their pr packages would be absolutely divine so yeah oh and maybe louis vuitton as well yes louis vuitton <laughs> so penhaligons and performs the mali louis vuitton and dior i would love to receive pr from them and also kayali um i would love to receive their pr mainly because i want to be the first to talk about their perfumes and to also smell their perfumes the next question is name a micro influencer that you love in fratcom for me there there's more than one i couldn't just name one person but there are people I used to watch a lot back in like 2020, 2021, when we were locked up at home, <laughs> nobody could go out. But now life is life in. I have a job, you know, I've got kids, I'm a wife, I'm a, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister. So I don't have as much time to watch content. But times that I do watch content, these are, the, these are my go-to people. And I highly recommend you guys to check them out. Subscribe to their channels. I will leave all of their channels down below. Um, I absolutely adore Gids. Gids is a UK-based um, fragrance influencer or content creator. He is absolutely amazing. A very refined man who has incredible taste in perfumes. He can describe perfumes to perfection. He's just great. Definitely check him out um i absolutely love tammy here on youtube tammy just like she makes me smile she makes my heart smile she's she's funny she's knowledgeable she's honest like she doesn't she doesn't ride with the trend or the waves of she's very much who she is she's authentic to herself and i love that about tammy I adore Rose. Rose, Rose, Rose. She is funny. She is, again, another authentic woman who has a love for perfumes. If you are looking for um, perfume dupes, perfumes that you, you know, you don't need to break the bank to buy, she has incredible recommendations. I highly recommend Rose. Um, of course, Amber. I love this woman. Honestly, she is so funny she has such great energy great vibes positive energy humble supportive and so beautiful and of course of course roxanne i absolutely love watching roxanne she knows so much about perfumes and you can tell when she's talking about a perfume when she really really loves it she gives you all of the tea on the perfumes that she loves she's so authentic again to herself i think one thing they all have in common is how authentic they are and that's one thing that i love about them i find a lot of people do copy pasting people are not who they are um and i don't really watch those type of people i like when people are true to who they are and these people i've mentioned are definitely true to who they are i there's loads other there's loads more people but i can't think of them naturally liz naturally liz is amazing as well how can i forget about her she's wonderful again i will leave all the channels down below sending them lots of love because i find them so incredible to watch um the next question is which influencer have you been most influenced by um this has to be in the fragrance community i think at this point in my fragrance journey i don't get influenced i really don't i think back 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 in the day guys i can't even lie i was influenced by jeremy fragrance yes i was i bought um the juicy couture gold couture perfume because of jeremy because he wouldn't stop going on about it and i bought bottles of that perfume because it was really nice it was nice obviously now i don't have it in my collection anymore but back then i watched jeremy and i listened to jeremy 
And I think after that, when I started to watch more people on YouTube, I was influenced by AI The Great. AI The Great is my friend. Like she would tell me, Abby, this is nice. You're going to love it. And I believe it. I bought Pineapple by Dolce & Gabbana because of AI The Great. Let me actually show you. So Pineapple by Dolce & Gabbana, I bought because of AI. Sadly, this one has been discontinued. Oh, this is a juicy pineapple that I'm just so obsessed with it. So she influenced me to buy this perfume. She's great at what she does. Like she has so much passion for perfume. I just love to see it. I've also been influenced by Coco Pebs. Um, when it comes to like Zara perfumes and Middle Eastern perfumes, I don't go anywhere else. I'm just like, Shauna, should I get this? Like, you know, watch, like she's so good at explaining perfume she she knows how to make you envision what a perfume will smell like so she's definitely been a huge influence um and i can't think of anyone else i love tiff benson she's such a poised classy woman everything about tiff benson to me is perfection i yeah i've been influenced by her but not to buy a perfume but more to but more so how she is as a person how she comes across next question is favorite release of 2024 so far must have a full bottle okay so there's two one i have a full bottle of it which is amore infinite by ai the great and navitas i love this perfume this is the best one of the best if not the best signature scent in my collection and i have a large collection i i don't do signature scents but if i did this would be it i would wear this every single day i never get sick of it so thank you ai for giving this to me um that's very very kind of you i also want to buy Guerlain's planifolia yes i love 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 that perfume so much i am a vanilla lover i will be adding it to my collection one day soon although it's 495 pounds one day it will be in my collection because that perfume is divine to me i've been seeing people talk about dupes of it recently and i have no interest <laughs> i have no interest in the dupe i want the original and i'm going to get it i have to get that perfume it's like vanilla at the highest tier like it's top tier perfume you have to smell it go into harrods if you live in the uk go and smell vanilla planifolia by guerlain it is amazing and the last question is what change would you like to see in the fragrance community i guess i'd just like to see more support um i think i would like us to support each other more like everyone come together because this is such a small community i feel like we all share the same subscribers because when I'm watching this someone, I'm seeing my subscribers in their comments and vice versa. So I think just kind of come together and leave the hate behind and just, just come together. Um, another change I would like to see is I would like to see more honesty. I feel like people will copy other people and make it look like their own work um i think people don't like to say especially the bigger creators they don't like to say oh i found out about this perfume from abby for example she spoke about oh the audacity by pen halligans rather than that they would be like oh you know i found out about this perfume and i'm showing it to you and oh, oh it's similar to baby cat just tell people this creator spoke about this you went and tried it you found out they were right and i'm bringing it to my audience i think that is such a humble honest way to deal with things i've seen it time and time again when where bigger creators will copy the smaller ones and not give them their accolades i i find it so so rude i really do um and i think just copying copying in general i think you can take inspirations from people from different people and spin it make it into your own i think that would be great uh obviously no idea is new like there's nothing new that's out there it's just how we do it that's different so if you're gonna copy someone try and change it a little bit to make it into your own and if you want to copy paste just be like i'm copying this content from this person they already know i'm gonna copy them i'm bringing it to you just own it like just own it 
I would love to see more of that. Thank you so much Roxanne for tagging me in this video. I really enjoyed it. I think that the question that you asked are so relevant and I think anyone out there that is watching this video, if you want to do this tag, by all means do it. Make sure you give accolades to the creator of the tag who is Roxanne. I'm going to leave her channel below again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!